Time and Miller Lite. Introducing to you our three judges scoring them out from ringside, all from Houston, Texas. We have Chuck Bertani, Robert Bish, and Scott Morrison. And the third man to the ring, the referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Robert Gonzalez. All right, fans, here we go. Featherweights in the ring in a 10-round special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and silver trunks, and fighting out of New York City by way of Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic. His weight, 126 pounds. His record, 41 wins, 8 losses, 3 draws, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the former WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, introducing Hector Acero Sanchez. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner of this 10 round scheduled attraction, wearing black trunks with white trim, fighting out of the north side of Houston, Texas. His weight, 128 pounds, his record, 12 wins, no losses, 9 wins coming by way of knockout, introducing the silver medalist in the 2000 Olympic Games, Please welcome Ricardo Rocky Warren. Once again, Bobby Gonzalez, our referee, now to give instructions. Children, both of you fighters are professionals. Conduct yourself as such. Caballeros, ambos peleadores son profesionales. Su conducta debe ser profesional. Protect yourself at all times. Give me a good, clean fight. Protegense siempre. Let me pelea limpia. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves, and best man win. Buena suerte, que gane mejor. This is the epitome of youth versus experience. Juarez's first 10 rounder. He's never been past six. Very skillful, smart, versatile, calculating, patient, never in a hurry. His opponent, Hector Asaro Sanchez, not a fast starter, known in his prime for his speed and mobility but too defensive of late and needs to be more active and throw more punches. Question is, can he take Juarez deep? Remember, Rocky has never been past six. He has sparked 10 rounds twice, he told us. But Bobby, is that the same as the real thing? No, it's not the same as the real thing. Even though in sparring you use sometimes 14, 16, 18 ounce gloves, which are a lot heavier, so it makes your arms more tired. In the fight is nothing like fight night, the adrenaline, and don't forget, you pick your sparring partners, and so usually they're a lot less combative than an actual opponent, and you wear headgear. So, sparring, fighting, close, but not the same. You've convinced me. Juarez in the black trunks with the white trim. Acero Sanchez in the red trunks with the white. Juarez told us he planned to go to the body early, slow Acero Sanchez, and match jabs with the former champion. He does feel Acero Sanchez is a very good jab. Juarez usually knows how to control the pace. Has a deceivingly effective jab. Able to slip punches very subtly, very smooth, sneaky. Suddenly he's batting you to the body, to the head. Doesn't have big thunder, as you pointed out. Not great speed, but he does it right. He's a great technician and he shows patience. Excellent patience for a fighter so young, early in his career. And right now we're watching the proverbial feeling out process take place in this round. He told us uh, yesterday at the fighter meeting that against a guy like Acero Sanchez, he feels he's taking two steps up in terms of opposition. He says the only way you're gonna go pick, get better is to fight better competition. Well, I don't know that he's taking two full steps, but maybe one full step. Acero Sanchez lost his last fight to a nondescript fighter, not a great top ranked fighter so we expect a fighter with this type of talent that Rocky Juarez has to come up and do something well but again it's four extra rounds that he's not used to against a fighter with ten times the experience he has so he may have his work cut out for him if this fight goes deep. Juarez was nine years old when Acero Sanchez turned pro in 1989. Acero Sanchez never went to the Olympics like Juarez but 197 amateur wins left up to the jaw scores by Juarez. Another left hook and a little wobble in the legs of Acero Sanchez. Juarez 
Rogers repeatedly scoring with those left hooks up to the head and turning it up early, unlike in the past. Well, you know what? He saw two left hooks in a row actually do some damage, then the third and the fourth and their fifth all land. So he's found the home for the left hook, Rocky Warren. Ordinarily, Juarez doesn't do it in spectacular fashion, but does almost everything well. Likes to work inside, almost has to every fight because he's just 5'4". And he's scoring on the inside of the head and body there. Good opening round for Rocky Juarez. Bobby, how about the keys to victory? Rocky Juarez, number one, control the pace. He has great patience, but he can turn up the heat when he wants to. Number two, take the fight inside. He is the much better inside fighter. And lastly, use his combinations. He works to the head and body very well. For Hector Acero Sanchez, number one, establish his jab. This can help take Juarez out of his rhythm. Then constant movement, offensively and defensively, he can be very effective this way. And lastly, box smart from the outside. He's not as good as Juarez on the inside. He needs to stay outside. Angel de Jesus asking Hector Rosero Sanchez, are you ready to go? Time! 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 They're not quite ready there. They finally Come get in. the mouthpiece Time. in, and now it's round two. There's a mistake you don't want to make. For sure. Well, Juarez didn't win the gold medal at the 2000 games. He won the silver, but neither did Roy Jones Jr., Riddick Bowe, Michael Carvajal, Evander Holyfield, Jose Torres, and Ingemar Johansson. Proof that you don't need a gold medal for a golden future in the sport of boxing. Juarez with a tremendous amateur career. History has proven that Olympians are a wise investment, and Juarez fits the bill. Juarez in the black. I'm a little surprised that Juarez hasn't come in and worked, worked off the jab in behind and worked the right hand with the left hook. And he got Sarah Sanchez in trouble twice with it, and he's no left hook. Well, there he throws one now. Juarez joined Ricardo Williams, Jermaine Taylor, and Clarence Vinson as American medalists in the 2000 Sydney Games, and that quartet remains unbeaten in the pros. Juarez 12 and 0 with nine knockouts. Juarez doesn't really want to be at this particular fight range. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to be on the outside. This is much more to the liking of a Sarah Sanchez. Juarez, more effective from close range, as we pointed out earlier. And Acero Sanchez wisely keeping his distance. Trying to use his height and reach. So it's Sanchez making the adjustment. Juarez usually the one who makes the uh, correct adjustment. But Juarez always showing poise. Not enough punches right now from Rocky Juarez, and again, staying too far away. There's a big right hand over the top by Juarez. It scored. But once again, one and done. Just one right hand. And I know the right hand's worth more than the jab as far as scoring goes when it lands clean, but he does need to throw more punches. The pace has slowed considerably here in the second. Nobody forcing the action. I've seen very few combinations. Let's see if Juarez can finish strong. He hasn't got much time. The bell's just about to ring. Let's get it over to our colleague, Jim Gray, with a special guest. All right, thank you very much, Steve. I'm joined by Clifford ATN. He is now tentatively set to fight Mike Tyson. That'll be on Showtime in February. When will you begin your preparations for Tyson? I'm gonna start, I might start Monday. 
I might start Monday. You know, I figure it's a, it's a good, it's a great opportunity. You know, I like to thank Showtime, Mike Tyson himself, and you know his his employment and stuff. You know, you know, I think it'll be a great opportunity for me to prove a lot of people wrong about me, make some points proven. Well, you you do have something to prove. You fought to a draw against Francois Botha. What is it that you saw in Mike Tyson when he lost to Lennox Lewis that makes you feel that you can be competitive and beat him? Yeah, I mean, he still could have been in the undefeated. I still would have, I still would have thought that I could beat him. You know, I mean, that's part of the game. That's part of the fight game. I think I could beat anybody that I get into it with if I'm in, you know, if I'm totally in shape and ready. Will you be in total shape and will you be ready for this? Because should you beat Tyson, that would be, you know, obviously the biggest thing of your career and could put you in position for a heavyweight championship fight. Watch my smoke. I'm going to beat him. I'll beat him. That'll be his last fight. Pretty bold words, Clifford. I'm a pretty bold man. We look forward to it in February.